I don't know who will be on. I think everybody's here. <laughs> so many people who have been joined. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Usually Deb's on. <laughs> Energy level? Low. <laughs> Hi. Hopefully this beautiful back. weather. Yeah. Oh, we got somebody else joining us. Oh, a new face. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I just muted everyone because we're about to start class, but I'm Nancy. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so let's all find a comfortable seat to start in. 
if you did get a block, it's nice to maybe take zero's pose with one or two blocks under your seat. I might ask um, for those who, uh, I was just thinking if we can maybe, for the, those who don't have any blocks to, for anyone to maybe give yeah, up can, one of them. Well, for, um, no, but like, uh, like for some people who do, we do extended settings or low one. Um, so if anybody, yeah, like right now, if anybody wants a block for their, under their seat. Okay. <laughs> good, good. good, good. All right. So let's start to just come to a grounding space. Close the eyes. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. And then notice where your chin is. So sometimes, not even realizing it, our chin dictates our posture. So bring your chin so it's parallel to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, he's a comedian. <laughs> Draw your chin back a little bit. So you feel the back of the neck maybe open up just a little bit and not pulling forward. And then bring your awareness to your sits bones, those two bony parts. There's only two <laughs> in your seat. And imagine they're magnets. So there's a magnetic pull of your sits bones rooting you down, connecting with the seat below the earth, the foundation that we all share. So the earth, the air we breathe, is the same for all of us. And just do a body scan to check in with yourself this morning. So some are stiff, some the energy low or high or in the middle. So part of our yoga practice is that we are our own self-study and honoring where you are in this moment. So today might be different than when you come to your mat tomorrow, the next day. Even if you've been practicing for years and years and years, you might find that one day You might work harder than you are used to in a pose. <clears throat> so part of our practice is accepting what is, letting go of expectations and being present. So let's move into a yogic breath this morning. It's called <clears throat> square breathing. And it's where we control the breath, we manipulate it. So we make our inhales even with retention at the top, even with our exhale, and then even with the retention at the bottom of the breath. So I'll lead you with a count of four. First, take an inhale and exhale it out. And if you prefer to bring a hand to the heart space and a hand to the belly to feel this breath in your body. You can do that, or you can hold your palms in one another by your pelvic 
floor, or you can have your hands, palms face down on your knees, or the backs of your palms resting on your knees. So taking that hand gesture of choice, another full inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Two more rounds on your own count. Allowing the mind to only focus on this pranayama, on this breathing. When you finished the round that you're on, no rush, take your time. After that last retention, take a full inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And then moving into what we call the ujjayi breath, breath of victory. It's a breath that's good to do throughout your whole practice. So I want you all to practice when you take an inhale through the nose, try exhaling through the mouth and make the ha sound. So audible inhale through the nose. Ha. Next exhale, make the same ha sound, but keep your lips closed. Notice the constriction in the back of the throat. And then just without exaggerating it, see if you can continue that exhale with the constriction in the back of your throat. The ujjayi breath. Breath of victory. A couple more times. So you might feel like it's the sound of an ocean. Notice any sensations in the body that it creates. Any time that your mind starts to wander during your practice this morning, Think about this ujjayi breath. You can even make the sound ha to come back to it, but see if you can return to it over and over again. Bring your hands to heart center now. Set an intention for your practice. So anything that you're working on this month helps when you set an intention, it helps give your practice some direction. Could just be inviting in more gratitude or letting go of any expectations. Or maybe taking pauses each day to notice your breath. 
Let's open with the sound of OM. So take a full inhale and exhale it out. And then we'll OM on the next exhale. So inhale. Oh. Maybe draw the corners of your mouth up a little bit. Flicker the eyes open, coming back to the space. And let's rock forward, find tabletop. <coughs> Moving the blocks off to the side, but have them be accessible for <clears throat> different poses. So let's start in tabletop. Finding alignment here, you're having your shoulders in line with your elbows and your wrists, the knees under the hips, tops of the feet on the mat. <clears throat> And then inhale, lift the crown of the head, tilt your tailbone up. Exhale, draw the belly in, round the spine, bring your chin toward your chest. <laughs> inhale into cow pose. Exhale into cat. One more time, inhale into cow pose. And exhale into cat. Hold cat. So you've got the rounded spine. And now push your seat toward your heels. And then inhale, come up on your knees, float the arms overhead. And exhale back to tabletop. Inhale right into cow pose. And exhale into cat. Keep that cat shape. Push your seat to your heels. Inhale, float up on your knees. Arms come over. Exhale to tabletop. Flow right into cow pose. And exhale into cat. Keep that roundedness, that broadening across the upper back. Push your seat to your heels. Inhale, float the arms overhead. Stay here, interlace your fingers, turn your palms up to the ceiling. So draw the belly in, lengthen down through the tailbone. So lengthening the arms without scrunching the shoulders up to the ears. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, little side bend to the left. Inhale through center, side bend to the right. Inhale to center, sweep the arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers and bring your knuckles to your sacrum. Draw the elbows toward each other. Imagine a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the chest up to the ceiling. And then lower the chin so it's parallel with the floor. Bring your knuckles to your left hip. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, bring the knuckles through center and over to the right hip. And breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out, knuckles to center, release the arms, float the arms overhead, exhale down to tabletop, <clears throat> inhale, float the right arm up, open that right chest, and exhale, thread it under the left, thread the needle, so you're reaching those right fingertips through to bring the right shoulder and the right side of your face down to the mat. This right palm is face up to help externally rotate that shoulder. Beautiful. Notice your hips. If your hips feel uneven, draw that would be the, if the left hip is sticking up, 
Beautiful, everyone. Nice adjustment, self-adjustments. And that left arm can extend out to the top of the mat if you want to try that for breath. You can also sweep that left arm up, rotate the palm, and then take a bind behind your back. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in. Exhale, release the bind if you took it. If the arms extend it, bring it back by your face. Push into that left palm. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, opening that chest, reach through the right fingertips. And exhale, lower down, take your knees wide. Bring your toes together. So knees should be as wide as your mat. And then start to push your seat back to your heels, sinking down and then lowering. Bringing forehead to the mat. And if there's any discomfort here with your breathing, try putting your forehead on a block so that you're not, you're not putting too much pressure on your lungs or rib cage. Full breath in, full breath out. Invite that ujjayi breath in here. So when you place a constriction in the back of your throat on the exhale, especially in a pose like this, to really hear that rhythm, that you're letting the breath guide your practice. Inhale, coming back to tabletop, bring the knees under the hips. Then we'll thread the needle on the other side. Inhale, left arm up. And then exhale, thread it under the right. So before doing anything with the right hand, just check in with your hips, leveling the hips out. You want your hips in line with your knees. So if you feel like you're sitting back too far, bring those hips in line with your knees. And then whatever you did on the other side, if you want to extend that right arm straight out onto the mat, or take the bind or you're sweeping it up and around the back. Full breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, release the bind if you took it, sliding right hand by your face so you could press into it, lifting up and then sweeping that left arm, opening the chest. And exhale, lower down. <clears throat> One more round of cow and cat. So lift the crown of the head, tilt your tailbone up, engage the core. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away from you. And then neutral. And then I want you to check in with your wrists. <laughs> so notice your wrist creases are facing the top of the mat. Plug into your thumbs, the index fingers the tips of your third, fourth, fifth fingers. And then notice your elbow creases. Notice that keeping your hands where they are, you can rotate your elbow creases to create an internal rotation and an external rotation. So I want you to externally rotate so those elbow creases are facing the wrist creases. And now bend your elbows. Lower your chin and chest to the mat. Hug the elbows in and then inhale, slide forward onto the belly. Nice rows. <laughs> so elbows hugging in. So we've just, what we did there is we lengthened as we lower. So we're in position for cobra. So your hands should have ended up right by your lowest set of ribs. 
your elbows pulling in toward your side body, shoulders away from the ears. So you're making a little bit of a shelf with this back part of your arm. Beautiful, everyone. And now press into the tops of your feet. When you press into the tops of your feet, your kneecaps should lift up just a little bit. So not too much force, just a little bit. And lengthen down through the tailbone. And now lift the upper body. Keep the legs where they are, don't lift the legs. Don't lift too high, don't straighten the arms. Keep the arms a little bent and think about lengthening. Beautiful, nice Rochelle. And then lower on your exhale forehead to the mat, push into the tops of the feet, lengthen down through the tailbone, inhale, lift the upper body, and exhale, lower down, inhale, lift the upper body, and exhale, lower down, one more, inhale, lift the upper body, Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes under, push your seat back to your heels. Inhale, push forward to plank. Drop your knees down. Elbow creases, rotate to the front of the mat, lower chin and chest down. Inhale, slide forward onto your belly. Tuck your toes under, push your seat back to your heels and then push forward to plank. Drop your knees down, lower to your forearms. Interlace your fingers. So your elbows should be underneath your shoulders and in line with your shoulders. You don't want your elbows too far out. And then tuck your toes under, lift your knees, forearm plank. So hips are low in forearm plank. And turn the tops of the feet to the mat, lower slowly, knees, thighs, belly, and then come right into sphinx, sphinx pose. So forearms and hands on the mat. Legs separate a little bit. Bring your fingers, wrap them around your elbows to make sure that you have the right distance and then bring them back to the mat. So Sphinx pose is a back bend, more of a back extension. So think about that extension. Also the chest opening. So the legs are on the mat. Shine your heart forward. So when you lengthen down through the tailbone, you might feel a little bit more extension. And then exhale, cross your forearms, rest the forehead on the backs of the forearms, back forearms. If that's too high for you, for your neck, you can separate the arms a little bit and stack palms. And breathing here on your belly. So notice the breath coming from the diaphragm. With each inhale and exhale, notice how the spine feels. One more full inhale. And exhale. 
and then slide the hands by the lowest set of ribs, setting up to push back to our heels. So tuck your toes under, push up and back, and then bring the hips up, downward facing dog. So when we push back first, we're finding that extension in our arms and in our spine. The hips are lifting toward the ceiling. Plug into your thumbs, index fingers, tips of your third, fourth, fifth fingers. The head is between the arms and pressure is falling off of the neck. One more full inhale and exhale. And then lift your gaze and look between your hands and walk heel to toe up to your hands, feeling that stretch in the back of the legs. And then inhale, lift up halfway, finding a flat back, fingertips coming to your knees or shins. So flat back, meaning we can come around and put a tray on the back and it wouldn't fall off. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and feel the extension from tailbone to crown of the head. And then lift the arms up shoulder height. So making a T. And now press into your feet. Lift the arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms around and overhead. Exhale, take the arms out wide. Tilt your tailbone up as you lead with your heart coming into forward fold. Forward fold will look different for everybody. So honor where you're at, not worrying about where your neighbor's at. So if we're having tight hamstrings or tight hips, you might feel this in your low back. If you do, you can bend your knees a little bit. You can always bring your hands to a block. And then everybody just let the head go, let it hang. Shake the head, yes and no. And then round up to standing. So bend your knees deeply. Let the head really hang. So chin to chest, roll up and find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Check in with your feet, lift your toes off the mat. So you feel the inner arches engage and then lower your toes, rounding into all four corners of the mat. And notice, look down, make sure the feet are in line with your hips and the toes are pointing forward. And then close your eyes for a moment, bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your low belly. Practice your ujjayi breath here, feeling the breath in the body. Soften the shoulders and see where you can maybe make this a little bit more active. So press into your feet, <coughs> lengthen down through the tailbone. Feel the energy come up the spine, out through the crown of your head. And then arms alongside and inhale, float the arms overhead. Exhale, dive down into forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, bend your knees as you plant your hands or on your fingertips and step the right leg back as far as you can. <laughs> to find a full extension in that leg, your left knee is in line with your left ankle. 
So if your left knee is going forward on an angle past the toe, bring it back, form a 90 degree angle with that left knee. And now drop that right knee down, uncurl the toe, inhale the arms by the ears. Wrap your right hand around your left wrist and a side bend to the right. Inhale through center, reverse the grasp, left hand around right wrist, side bend to the left. And then come back to center, exhale, hands down by the left foot, tuck the right toes under, lift that right leg up, and then step the left leg back, find plank. Lower your knees. Elbow creases rotate to the front of the mat as you lower chin and chest. Inhale, slide forward on the belly. Inhale, pressing up to cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes under, push your seat to your heels, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Draw the belly in. Lift your gaze, look between your hands, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold, bend your knees, fingertips to the mat, step your left leg back as far as you can, finding low lunge on the other side. Check in with your right knee. Right knee, right ankle, forming a straight line. Push through that left heel, really extending that left leg. Drop the left knee down, uncurl the toe, inhale. The arms up by the ears, interlace the fingers, bring them behind the head. So finding that spot where you feel like you're cradling the back of the head. So that when you lengthen up, you feel like you're getting a nice lengthening of your cervical spine. Draw your elbows back a little bit. Opening the chest. One more full inhale. And then exhale, release. Hands down to the mat, tuck your left toes under. Lift that left leg. Plant your hands, step the right leg back, find plank. Lower knees, or if you want to do chaturanga, you can. Lower chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward onto the belly. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale into cobra. And exhale, tuck your toes under. Push your seat back to your heels. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. And for anyone who is doing chaturanga, you would transition into upward dog and then rolling over on your toes into downward dog. So for those who are doing chaturanga and upward dog, if you're not sure <clears throat> about those two poses, then follow my lead for knees, chest, chin. One more full breath in and out. Look between your hands, walk your feet up, or if you prefer a light hop to the front of your mat, lift up halfway. Take the arms out to a T. Inhale, lifting up flat back, palms touch, and exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here, recall your intention and to dasana. A little balance this morning. So rock forward and back. Feel the balls of your feet. Feel your heels. Ground down through both feet. Put weight in your left foot and lift your right knee to a 90 degree angle. Bring your hands to your hips. Notice if your right hip lifted. Bring it down. 
So level your hips here, flex that right foot, really form that 90 degree angle. Notice if you can root down through your left leg a little bit more, maybe bring the arms up by the ears. Just practicing with balance here. If you're holding the balance, then move into dancer, bringing that foot behind you, reach with your right hand, going into warrior three, Nick. <laughs> so reaching that right hand around that right foot. So if you can stay here, for a quad stretch, bringing the right heel to your butt, or you can hinge forward. If you're hinging forward, push the right foot into the right hand. Lifting that right leg up a little. Keep your hips level. <laughs> To start here again. Right? Keep the hips level. Push the right foot into the right hand. The difference. <laughs> and then we're done playing. <laughs> Come back to mountaintop. And that, oh my God. Now we <laughs> talk about like Reese and St. Thomas. <laughs> I just went there. <laughs> Did you all go with me? <laughs> Uh, to and Mountain Pose. Take a moment here, close your eyes, and just let that side go. So we talked about letting go of expectations, just being present and accepting what is. This side, next side might be different. Open the eyes, put weight in the right foot, and lift that left knee to a 90 degree angle. Hands to hips to help level out the hips. So just practice balance here. Option to bring the arms by the ears. It's only an option though. So if you just want to practice here with leveling your hips, that's fine. You can also use a wall if you want to. For those joining me for dancer, reach, bring that left knee in line with the right and then reach that left hand to wrap it around the top of this left foot. So we stay here for a quad stretch or if you want to hinge forward, do so keeping that left hip level with the right and then you push left hand, left foot into left hand. Right arm stays by right ear. But wherever you're practicing, even if you're still at 90 degree angle, is fine. When we practice balance, we narrow our attention and our focus to our breath. The whole world goes away. Finishing up on that side, coming back to Tadasana Mount, <laughs> Mountain Pose. Root down through the feet, find your grounding again. Soften your shoulders. And just take a body scan, notice sensations. Invite the ujjayi breath in. And you went away from it. and open the eyes. Inhale, flip the arms overhead, and exhale, come into Uttanasana. Bend your knees, step the right leg back, find the lunge. <clears throat> if you have a block close by, bring it to the outside of your left foot, and then drop your right heel down. And notice, left heel and right heel are 
in the same line. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. As you push it to the left hand, you can be at the highest point with that block. Right hand coming by right ear extended side angle. So long line of energy from the right, outside of the right foot, along the right side, out through the right fingertips. And now really press into your feet. Start lifting the body up, come into warrior two. Bending this left knee toward a 90 degree angle, full extension in the right leg. Inhale the arms up by the ear, straighten the legs. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Exhale, warrior two. Drop the right hand to the back of the thigh. Lift that left palm, lift that left arm. Peaceful warrior. Straighten the left leg. Take the arms by the shoulders. Shift this right hip and reach to the mirrors with the left fingertips. Take the left hand to the inside of this left leg. Reach the right arm straight up. Triangle pose. So right arm is reaching straight up. Try and straighten both legs without locking the knees out. Triangle pose is full extension. And now inhale, arms up. Bend that left knee. Spiral the left hand down to that block. And then pivot so you're coming back to low lunge. Step the left leg back to meet the right downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Look between your hands, bend your knees and lightly hop forward or walk your feet up. Inhale, <clears throat> lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips to the mat, step your left leg back. Place the block on the outside of your right foot. Drop your left heel down. The left toes are on a 45 degree angle. Bend this right knee for a low lunge and then inhale, sweep that left arm up by the ear, opening to extended side angle. Right hand on the block. You can lift that block to the highest if you need to lift up a little bit. Full breath in, full breath out, softening that left shoulder. And now inhale, press into the feet, lift up to warrior two. Look out over your right fingertips, bending this right knee. Inhale, bring the arms up by the ear, straighten that right leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms up by the ear, straighten right leg. Exhale, warrior two, drop left hand down. <clears throat> Flip the right palm, take that right arm straight up. So really reach through that right side. Straighten the right leg. Keep reaching up through right fingertips. Arms come to a T. Shift your left hip, so straighten right leg, coming into triangle. Reach the right fingertips to the mirrors. Take the right hand down to the inside of that right leg. Lift left arm straight up. Your palm should be saying hello to the TV. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think about opening that left chest, that left hip. Inhale, lifting the arms back up. 
Bend the right knee, warrior two. Take the right hand down to your block. Spiral that left hand down and pivot forward, low lunge. Step the right leg back, downward facing dog. And then drop to the knees, child's pose. So any form of child's pose, you can keep the knees close together or you can separate the knees. Breathe in and breathe out. Finding that ujjayi breath. Inhale as you begin to lift up and sitting on your heels, bringing the knees close together. If you were a wide-legged child's pose, drop off to your left hip and swing the legs around in front of you. Maybe move the flesh away from your sits bone. Sit up nice and tall. Draw the right knee into your chest and drop that knee out to the side. So the sole of the foot, see if you can bring it to the inside of your left thigh. Flex your left toes. Inhale the arms up by the ears. A little micro twist to the left. Lengthen and then hinge forward, reaching forward, lead with the heart as you fold over that left leg. For those who are folding pretty deeply, option to place a block against your foot and reach around you. With each inhale, think about lengthening the spine. And the exhale, feel the hinge from your hips. This is called Janu Shirsasana. Keep that foot flex. And then inhale to lift up. And take this leg out, separate the legs. So finding Upavista Kanasana. Knees, toes facing the ceiling. You don't have to be super wide, it can be here. Tune into your body. Just keep the feet flexed, toes and knees pointing up to protect your knees. Inhale the arms up by the ears. And again, it's a hinge forward. So reach the fingertips toward the mirrors. Think about lengthening your spine, get your spine as long as you can. And then at the point that you're gonna round, bring your hands to the floor. Close the eyes. Try and count your inhale and exhale. So inhale to the count of three or four and then match the count for the exhale. So when we do equal breathing, it's called Samavritti breath. When we bring our attention to our breath, it helps to calm the chatter in the mind, helps us turn inward. Inhale to lift up. Slide your right leg to center and then bend your left knee, bringing the sole of the foot to the inside. I got that. This is the other side, right? Because I'm mirroring you. So. <laughs> Inhale, arms up by the ears, lengthen. Slight micro twist to the right and then hinge forward. 
Again, close the eyes. Breathing into discomfort, if there's pain, ease out of the pose a little bit. Again, think about lengthening on your inhale, hinging on your exhale. And inhale to lift up. Take that left foot, extend it straight out. Bring the soles of the feet together, sliding your heels in towards your pubic bone. Wrap your fingers around the feet. And then take your thumbs and open your feet. Open the soles of the feet up like the pages of a book. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall on your sits bones. Don't worry about holding. Just find length here. Close your eyes and really bring your awareness to your sits bones. And with each inhale, imagine your spine as a straw. And your inhale, you're sipping liquid up the straw. The exhale, the liquid moving down the straw, cooling in water that is your seat. One more full inhale, breathing in that liquid up the straw, lengthening your spine. And then this exhale, now hinge a little forward, keeping that length. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe hinge just a little bit more. Notice the difference when we take our time moving into a pose versus rushing right into it. One more, see if you can hinge just a little bit more. And inhale to lift up, lengthen the legs out in front of you. One more stretch, one more forward fold. Lengthen, flex the feet, keep the feet flexed. See if you can release any tension in the neck. Notice your midline, your center. Notice where your breath starts and where it ends. Inhale to lift up. Bring the arms alongside, palms facing each other and slowly start to lower. See if you can do five. Four, three, two, and one. Let it go. <laughs> Corpse pose. So let's set up well here. So the arms come alongside the body and move the arms a little bit away from the body and turn the palms to face up. And now push through your heels, lengthening your legs. And now we use that to the mat. Take the legs, but not too far apart, just a little bit. So your heels are still on the mat. And now push into the backs of your arms to feel your chest lift up a little bit. Slide your shoulder blades under and release back down. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top. And elongate. 
exhale, feel the shoulders move away from the ears. If there's any discomfort in the low back here in corpse, you can bend the knees, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. If you're doing that, take your feet as wide as your mat and bring the knees toward each other. This is called constructive rest and it might enable you to find that stillness a little bit more than the corpse pose. And Finding that feeling where your whole backside is needing the support under you. chant qualities of compassion. Bringing you closer to that connection of your innately loving and compassionate nature. Words from another Buddhist, Pema Chodron. What you do for yourself, any gesture of kindness, any gesture of gentleness, any gesture of honesty and clear seeing toward yourself will affect how you experience your world. In fact, it will transform how you experience the world. What you do for yourself, you're doing for others. And what you do for others, you're doing for yourself. So being here today, take a moment to thank yourself for taking this time of self-care. Mm -hmm. 
letting go of any negative talk, if there were poses that you felt you wanted to hold longer or get in deeper. Inhale, gratitude for just being able to be here. Start to deepen that breath, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, circle wrists and ankles. Continuing to deepen that breath, maybe float the arms overhead on an inhale, really feel that long stretch, that spine reawakening. And then draw the knees into your chest. Rolling on to one side or the other. I like the right side because I feel like then the heart is higher and the energy is flowing down from the heart. So it's nice to take this side pose before coming up to a seat, just to bring the flow back into the body, the blood flow. And now press into your left hand and kind of swing yourself around up to a seat. Coming to our easy seat, crossing the legs, keeping the eyes closed or a soft gaze, bringing hands to heart center. Rub the hands together. A little faster. And gently bring them over the eyes. Bring the hands together so the tips of the thumbs are gently resting against the space between your eyebrows. Third eye, that space for our intellect and intuition and just give a nod of thanks to that space. Lower the tips of the thumbs to the mouth. And just acknowledge here that we speak in an authentic voice. Lower the hands to your heart center and acknowledge that you'll approach the day with loving kindness. Bow the head softly. Thank yourself for being here. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Let's seal the practice with one ohm. So take a clearing breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. <clears throat> Inhale. Mm -hmm. oh. Namaste. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy this lovely weather. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here Thursday for yoga and meditation. That's from 9.30 to 10.30. So join us, Thank Deb. You. And I didn't get your name who came on right before we started. Oh, sorry, I was late. Lynn, my name is Lynn. Your Lynn. name is Lynn. Lynn, nice yes. to meet you, Lynn. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice day. The Thursday class is available through Zoom as well. So if okay. you're interested oh, oh, oh. in that, it's from 9.30 to 10.30. And just go on the Glen Eagle site and it'll give you the link for that Thursday class. Thank All right. You. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Nebra. <laughs> Goodbye, Jer. Nice to see you. <laughs> Bye, Deb. Bye. Yeah, we started it in October.